Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss about a very popular journal of Elsevier that is JNC. So let's discuss that what are the different kind of research focus of this particular journal and is it suitable for your need or not. So it is the home page of uh, JNC as you can see it's the Elsevier site. So inside journals you can find journal of network and computer applications. Here you can have that uh, JNCA offers a two kind of publishing options. One is the open access and second is the subscription based. So if you have enough funding at your site and you do want to make your paper open access, you can go for this option else this is the default option. But uh, normally people also prefer to go for open access because uh, open access gives you the chance to have more citations because uh, the subscribers or the users don't need to pay for uh, purchasing or uh, to read your article okay so in this way your uh, domain of readers gets wide and uh, in this aspect uh, some of the authors do prefer open access okay so it's uh, totally up to you if you have funding and then you can go for this particular option okay now then there is an option of a guide for authors where you can have all kind of information and the guidelines for authors means how to write paper what should be the font what is the template etc etc if you want to track your paper, then you can choose this particular option, and then you can track your submitted paper. If you want to order the journals, you can look for that in this particular option and then you can carry forward. Okay. The editor of chief of the journal is Mahabad Atagazman. And uh, if you want to get more information about the editorial board, you can open it. Okay. And then you can choose it. Then moving on to that uh, what is the journal and uh, what kind of uh, data it uh, focuses on then you can read full aim and the scope so here it shows that the journal of uh, network and computer applications welcomes uh, research contributions uh, surveys and notes okay so these are the three things it means research contributions might be in terms of some practical details or might be the survey and the notes okay in the areas related to computer networks and applications the following are some of the sample list topics. So here you can see that the new design techniques, interesting or the novel applications you can discuss, computer networks with such tools like a WWW, World Wide Web, and wireless networks, mobile computing, and these are some of the topics. Okay. What are the related benefits to authors? Then some of the like uh, free PDFs, uh, liberal copyright policy, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So like uh, any other journal, very common things. And here, uh, these are some of the metrics uh, that you should focus on. Then what is the site score? So the on average site score is 14.5. The average impact factor is 6.281. The top uh, readership is uh, uh, China, India, and US based. And the average review time is 6.3 weeks. The total uh, average publication time is 2.2 weeks. And uh, depending on these two parameters, the review time and the publication time, because these two parameters are very important you should decide whether you are going for a particular journal or not okay because in most of the journals it might be more time consuming and if you don't have uh, sufficient time in your hand then don't go for that particular journal okay so by default assume that it is the minimum time okay because uh, it uh, usually happens that decision doesn't come means as per my experience it always happened that uh, decision never came within such limits which are mentioned on the website so minimum it is the time Okay, it is the best possible time period. So decide according to your priorities and then look for a particular journal. Okay, moving forward, some of the recent articles you can find here, uh, some of the most downloaded articles you can find here, you can find here, okay. And you can see that most of downloaded articles are the open access. So as I told you before, means here are the subscription choices. If you want to go for the open access or subscription list, you should decide whether you are trying to have means uh, more viewership or a kind of uh, uh, only subscription based uh, option because uh, if you want to save your money you should go for subscription based but again uh, the trade-off is that your paper will not be visible to a uh, larger audience the point is very simple because uh, you have already paid so paper is open for all but Another contradiction and the most uh, common myth is that that most downloaded paper might be the most cited one, but it is not always. Okay, so you can see here that the most cited, see, it is the a survey on privacy protection in blockchain system. And here you can see that it is a different paper. So point is that more uh, open access doesn't uh, make your article more cited. 
it in, might be a chance means that there is always a chance means if it is open access then most probably it might be most cited but not necessary okay then what are the abstracting and indexing so it is the most important part with respect to any journal and you should carefully see this so if you open it you can see here that uh, it is indexed by scopus engineering index web of science science citation index expanded and inspect okay so science citation index it is the most important indexing and in india especially you get degree awarded on the basis of this particular citation uh, sorry indexing so especially look for this particular indexing with respect to any journal before going for publishing and then you can decide with respect to some other parameters also so what is the ratio of open access and subscription based works so you can see from these graphs in 2016 the open access work were almost nil in 2017 there was a very minor fraction in 2018 a bit major then in 2019 again went down and 2020 went up again okay so with respect to 2020 i think it is the latest results yes it is with respect to 2020 so 11 open access and 195 subscription based works were there so total 206 uh these were the total number of citations accepted in 2020 and if you want to view all publishing insights you can go with respective links so moving down uh, here you have some of the special issues information if you have some uh, plumexa metrics you can go at these particular articles if you want to have the open access articles you can click here and you can have it okay then call for paper details are listed down here or some of the works offering their audio video slides you can find here if you want to look for the related awards with respect to a particular paper that is also available here so you can see in 2017 and some other award related information is available here so some of the related news their respective announcements and uh, again the editorial board information so editorial board information is also kind of useful because uh, many times we do see that uh, why we should look at editorial board so it might be or might not be but uh, i will not uh, state a clear A statement because I also don't know much about this particular fact, but some people do say that editorial board has an impact in publishing. Okay, so for example, if we click here and see here that most of the editorial board members are from US. Okay, so there is a possibility that most of the works being published in this journal is from US. Okay, then you can see that Italy, China, Australia uh, means Italy, China, and US. These three have a major impact. on this particular journal because most of the editors and the editorial team members are from these countries but it is not a common fact means it's a general assumption of some people okay going backward then coming at the home page again here you can have some of the video options giving more information about this journal and it is obviously the tweet page so some of the common tweets with respect to this journal okay so in this way you can see that all of the information of uh, jnc is available at its home page only you can click on the respective links and you can go for it article viewing then uh, volume issue alerts uh, personalized recommendations uh, view reviewers uh, reviewers guideline login reviewer and uh, then authors uh, submitting papers uh, checking submitted paper rights and permissions authors uh, services support center track accelerated paper then uh, the respect librarians open journal person well, then uh, journal institutional publishing ethics uh, guest editor center support center link so almost uh, uh, every detail is available at the home page only and uh, quite detailed and uh, quite clear summary of everything so very good journal with a very good impact factor but don't always uh, get down for impact factor only because impact factor is not a clear criteria of uh, the actual impact of a particular paper uh, a particular journal because uh, many times uh, uh, the journals do have very high impact factors but uh, they don't make such impact on ground and uh, impact factor can also be influenced by several other factors so, so that's why people don't consider impact factor wise the listing or the ranking of journals people do consider the concept of q1 q2 q3 q4 ranking means q rank so what is q ranking so q ranking i have made another video with respect to that so you can go for that q ranking normally q1 means a top 25% top journals are referring 
the works from that particular journal. So it means uh, that is a Cuban journal. So in this way, you can go and have a look at Cuban Q2, Q3, Q4 in your leisure time. Okay, so I think that's a quite good detailing here. And if you want to have more information with respect to JNCA, then you can go at uh, different sites and you can look and you will find most of the information available because uh, it's a very popular journal and uh, quite old also. But uh, in short, if I want to give you information means uh, what sort of topics uh, or what sort of research focus you should focus on if you are interested in JNCA. Then uh, if your work is related to wireless network, cloud computing, electronic business, uh, cryptography, computer security, data management, then I think uh, there is a higher chance of your work getting accepted in computer in JNC. And if your work includes the kind of keywords like software defined networking, IoT, wireless ad hoc networks, cloud computing, then routing protocols, wireless networks, multimedia, IDS, intrusion detection system, IPS, intrusion prevention system, then radio frequency identification, denial of service attacks, authentication, taxonomies, scalability, cognitive radio. Okay, so these are some of the common uh, keywords and means which are found uh, with respect to the JNCA journals. But uh, if I tell you the most recent research areas which are being focused by JNCA, then those are wireless networks, cloud computing, and uh, the computer security, data management, parallel computing, management information system, cryptography, human computer interaction, information architecture, control engineering, and uh, computational sociology, telecommunication engineering, computer network, and uh, ubiquitous computing. So these are some of the uh, research uh, areas. And obviously, you can go for these sort of research focuses. Additionally, the most recent uh, keywords uh, being focused in uh, JNCA journals are the FOC computing, information architecture, edge computing, infrastructure as a service, service discovery, internet of things, botnet, admission control, big data, mesh networking, IEEE security, privacy, IP addresses, etc. Okay, so in this way, some of the data that I have gathered at my side, I have listed down and I have told you. So if you are interested in this sort of information, then you can again come back and see these sort of videos at my channel. But if you have some more detailing at your side or you don't agree with the kind of details that I have provided you, then you can please comment down below and let me know that what sort of information I should include more in my videos and what are the facts wrong here. Okay, so always open for criticism. Then if I want to go deep down, into the uh, detailing of uh, with respect to the Q1, Q2, Q3 means uh, what type of journal uh, JNCA is. So we need to move on to the SI Mago journal site. Okay, so here it is the site where you can go and you can check. So with respect to JNCA, here you can see that uh, it's a United States journal and uh, under the computer science category, it has three quartiles, means three subcategories. So no. Yes, with respect to three categories, it offers a solution if I am right. So we can come down. Yes, with respect to three quartiles. Okay, hardware and architecture is also included. So there are three quartiles. Okay, and uh, it is uh, published by Academic Press, and uh, the H index is 105. Then it's a journal. These are the ISSN. The coverage uh, is from 1996 to 2020 on this website till date. And uh, you, there are the homepage links, uh, how to publish contact information, etc. Okay. So what are the scope and everything that we have already seen at the homepage of JNC? Moving forward, what are the different quartiles? Quartiles means what are the different uh, patterns uh, or the kind of uh, tracks in this particular journal? Okay, so you can see there are the three main tracks, computer network and communication, in which you can see initially this particular track had Q3 ranking, but currently it is running at Q1. Okay, then computer science applications. So all the application based works and this paper publishes Q1 level application uh, works here. Okay, then the hardware and the architecture, again, you can see that it's Q1. So in this way, you can go what kind of work you are focusing on and uh, you can choose a specific journal depending on its quartile information also, and then you can choose a suitable journal. 
then some of the similar journal perhaps uh, if your work you submitted here and got rejected then there are some other alternatives so, so like uh, computer networks is a kind of similar journal having a 71 percent similarity then it's the another one it's the another one and it's another one okay so in this way these are three four very common uh, journals which are related to this so means if your work is rejected from here then there is a possibility that it will get accepted here okay so in this way you can go and search then sgr based uh, indexing and graph is shown here then total number of documents uh, citations per documents uh, total citations external citation information and uh, citations per document okay i have already covered this so with respect to the citations per document of uh, with respect to four years with respect to three years and two years information is shown here so that's quite common information don't means uh, so much data is available with respect to every journal and you can plot much more graphs and uh, you can have much more data but quite common if you want to go to any journal and want to see whether it's a q1 or not because there are multiple portals you just uh, simply drag down okay and here Mm, under these graphs you can find here okay so it's a visit here you can find that it's a q1 journal that's enough okay now you can decide whether you want to go for publishing in this particular journal or not. okay then there are some comments if you want to submit your comment also you can go and submit a comment okay so i think uh, it is a quite uh, good coverage for your information with respect to jnc if it didn't cover some sort of information, then uh, it's the editorial board I have already covered. Okay. So if you think that uh, some of the information is not covered with respect to GNC, please let me know in the comments down below. And uh, I will definitely try to cover that information in my future videos. So hopefully uh, you must have enjoyed watching this video. Something useful must have been observed by you. And uh, please let me know some about some more information. Okay. So thanks for watching this video. Happy learning.